peeps. How's it going? <laughs> Making funny faces just because I like to. <laughs> no. What's, what's happening? It's big guy here. It's, uh, that's late. Well, it's not late. It's like 9 o'clock. Whatever for a drive. Typical. Typical. There's wifey. She's so pretty. This is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do. We do our best. We do our best conversations in the car. We do. That is no joke. Uh, uh, and whatever. But uh, no, we just thought we'd take a, a minute, make a video, and talk about relationships. I think that's what we're talking about. We're going with relationships? Yeah. Relationships. First of all, guys, the woman's always right. Don't fight it. Don't argue it. She tells you the sky is pink, and well, we all know it's blue. You tell her, yeah, that sky is pink. That's it's pick your battles, peeps. That's not accurate. Pick your battles, hundred <laughs> percent accurate. Anyways, no, uh, we we get along. We we have a really weird relationship. I. But we didn't always. She's poo head. I or no, I'm poo head. She's poo face. It, we we're weird. But it works, and, but it always it hasn't always worked. We struggled too. We we fought in the beginning. We fought a lot, and like, but it was all petty stuff. It was all. We were making very bad decisions. Um, we'll go back. So Chris and I met online, completely like. Really I guess weird. it's normal now, but at the time it wasn't normal. I was all messed up because I was raising a one-year-old. and He was three at the time. He was, I was, well, I had raised him since he was yes. one by myself. But he was three at the time. And he was three at the time, but I was still messed up from everything. Anyways, that's. I was 18. Everybody called me crazy. I was. You were 25. 25? <laughs> Rob in the cradle a little bit, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, he's still legal. She was 18. I, 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 oh my God. Anyways, go ahead. So, so that's how we met. Um, the beginning, obviously, honeymoon phase, it was great. I moved in with him pretty quickly. Like, within, she crazy. Within, she crazy. Uh, four months, I think. Like, it was really soon. Um, and again, honeymoon phase, it was great. Um, thought I was ready. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. And we struggled. She wasn't ready. She was not ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we struggled. We we were poor and... We fought like... We fought like hell. Oh, my God. We had to... Yeah, it, it was rough. At one point, we separated. I moved out of city for six months. Um, yeah. It was horrible, but... We kind of wanted to share one of the tools that we use that really helped us oh, get yawning. to where we are apparently the story is boring for him no, it's not it's, <laughs> it's crazy so what did we do <coughs> well what did we do we had a, we had a conversation we came up with this thing where um you would tell the person your or i would tell her what I didn't like. And she... You're not explaining it very well. well. I don't explain things. My brain doesn't work like that. Okay, so we decided that we had enough. We were we were done with the fighting, the constant arguing, the bickering, everything. Um, it was like shit or get off the pot is what we were, we were trying to do. So Right. So uh, we decided to sit down and have a conversation, and we had some rules. So the first rule was we could only take turns talking. We could not talk over each other. <coughs> and we were taking turns voicing what bothered you. And the other person was not allowed to get mad. Um, they had to let you finish and fully explain. And then the other person was given an opportunity to, to respond afterwards. And I think, I don't know why that worked. Like those rules there, like we didn't argue. We, we literally threw everything out on the table we didn't argue. We, we let each other talk, which we didn't before. Um, and it was kind of like we made that safe space to just say whatever. Throw it all out there. And then at the end, we talked about how we can go from here. And it worked. Like, we barely... Worked like a charm. Yeah. Like, we barely argue. We barely fight. Um, 
everybody has little disagreements. Nobody agrees on every single thing as the other person. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that's something that really helped us. I think we did that about, oh my God, five years ago. No, it was longer than that. Longer than that? It was like eight years ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. But that's really what changed. Yeah, a long time ago. What changed everything for us. Yeah. Um, so, if anybody else is struggling, I encourage you to do the same thing. Talk it out. Talk it out. Put you those know? boundaries down. Make sure the other person doesn't Life cross them. Life is too short. Like, you can't sweat the small stuff. Like, for real. For real. True. True. Anything you want to add? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so, you know? Just, you got to respect each other. You got to, you got to listen. That's the biggest part is you got to F and listen. And when you, when you set out the boundaries like that, it gives you no option but to listen because you can't just cut them off and, and talk over them because then you're not even listening to what they're saying. You might be hearing it, but you're not listening. Yeah. Right. So. Then you're not trying. And if you're not trying, is it really worth it? Exactly. See, that's what we had to figure out. But we figured that out a long time ago. Like, she's stuck with me now. Like, yeah. You don't even know. There's a reason that we met. There there really is. I'm stuck with her. I don't think I could be rid of her anyways. <laughs> I'm too stubborn. <laughs> she's too stubborn. Yeah. It's crazy. I asked her to marry me, like, eight years ago. I think shortly after that conversation. Yeah. And then uh, I just didn't. Until a couple years ago, I almost died. How long have we been married? Two years? It'll be three in October. So it was like four years ago, I almost died. It's three and a half, anyways. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that changed everything. She held everything up, showed me what she had inside her. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the only person that keeps her sane by talking to you is me. <laughs> and she couldn't talk to me. Nope. <laughs> I was in a coma, so we should we should. Uh... Mm. Oh, that'd be a whole video That's for that story. That is a whole story. video. Tell you what, if I get another enough comments that you want to hear the story, I will tell you the story of how I lost my bag. Oh my god! Cheers. You didn't lose it. <laughs> I will tell you the story. If we get enough comments, you want to hear it. He is so overdramatic. I don't, 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 don't <laughs> you know what? That, guys, if you want, if you hear the story, you tell me if I'm being overdramatic or not. Anyways, I was in a coma and it's another day. So there's my <laughs> wife laughing at me. She wasn't laughing at me when I was out of it. No. Another story to add to that story. She kept taking my drugs away. That's another story. See, that goes with the other story. Anyways. We love you, peeps. We really do. We're, we're crazy. Yeah. But, uh... We just thought we'd share that little bit of info in case maybe... Yeah. You might want to try it out. Oh, for sure. Because it, it really did help us. It did. Yeah. Because communication really is the biggest thing. Communication is key, peeps. Yeah. Remember that. Take care of each other. Love each other. Like, subscribe, share. Hit the notification thing and bingy bell thingy. <laughs> Do all the things. Do all of them things. YouTube might notify you, but they might not. They might not, because... I hit lots of bells, and I don't get notified. <laughs> I don't get notified Only either. sometimes. <laughs> all right. I guess that's it. Yeah. See you on the next one. Bye. Bye.